Hi there, welcome back. Well, in today's video, we're really changing it up here. Um, this is actually a paint pouring video, mixed with a bit of stickers, mixed with a bit of resin. Um, so I'm going to do the demo for the majority of this. Um, well, I've got lots of paints there, really not sure at this point what ones I was going to use. Did, however, know I was going to take advantage of using something new that we got this week, but I'll show you that in a minute. Now this, this was a canvas, it's a smallish canvas that I'd used and I was trying to get back into paint pouring and it didn't work and I had three failed attempts. So I scraped the canvas, but I thought I'm not binning the canvas, I'm gonna reuse it. So underneath all that paint, there is some blue painter's tape, which you put all around the edge and I've also put the little wooden stretchers in the back of the canvas to try and make it as firm as possible. Now, here is this new item that I got this week from Amazon and as usual, everything we use will be in the description box with links down below. So it's got this lovely blue bag and in here there are some tools. Now these are usually used for dotting now have you anybody out there seen uh, dotting painting usually on stones sometimes on canvases usually in man mandala style patterns and prints but i am fascinated by them so i thought Do you know what i'm going to use the leftover paints that i've got and these tools and i've also got some lovely wooden blocks to uh put some prints down so I, I quite like these. We got these from a craft market recently. And these are the leftover paints. Now, yeah, blues and greens. And there was a little bit of lavender somewhere, I think, or mauve. Now, these are literally the very last bits of these paints. In fact, this next one, I don't think there's anything left in it. Nope, there we go. So that one wasn't used, but this next one was I did also use some white acrylic paint as well and some gold paint that's coming up. Now, what I've just shown you, that paler blue, was all the old paint that I'd used in the previous pours that I'd scraped off the canvas. So being a, an acrylic paint pouring person, uh, we never waste anything. This is that beautiful lavender mauveish colour that I'd mentioned before. Now, going to try and incorporate a few techniques I've never done before, one of which is block printing one of which is man uh doing the dotting uh painting and just really keeping my fingers crossed as usual and just going on with a wing and a prayer hoping that it works out and it looks sort of semi-decent so this is the time lapse of me trying to make like a, a marbled effect background um with the leftover paints that i had um, sorry, it is a little bit fast. This this was on a time lapse. It is a little bit fast, but yeah, I don't really like speeding up clips, so opted for a time lapse. So now I'm just introducing some white and just sort of doing little squiggles through it, so it sort of moves and melds and molts, molts, melts in and uh, mixes in with the base paints that you've you've already put down. Now, just seen a torch there. That is my lovely torch and all I'm doing at this point is encouraging any little bubbles that may have occurred in the paint to burst because what you don't want is you don't want them there and then whilst your paint's drying for them to um, pop and leave little pop marks and holes. So those are the wooden blocks, lovely Indian wooden blocks that I'm going to use. As you can also see on this canvas there are some little bits of gold paint. Um, Mm, that was a mistake but I did my best to try and cover them up uh, but this paint was quite difficult to try and cover up so just trying to demonstrate there as to what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the paint I'm going to put it on this lovely little palette that came with the with the um, with the pack and apply it to the stamps and do my best to get some lovely prints like that well hold on to your horses everybody <laughs> It didn't quite go to plan. There's a shocker. Um, anyway, this lovely deco art Americana decor metallics extreme sheen 24k gold. What a long name for a paint color, uh, for a brand and a paint color. But that's what it is. It is thick, very very thick. So before I try and attempt to use it, I'm using this pipette. Now that mauvey colored paint in there is completely dried. 
it's not coming out into this colour. But I'm putting in about four or five drops, little drops off the pipette of ordinary, just plain water. And then mix it, mixing it in with the paint. So as you can see there, it is a stunning, stunning gold colour. An absolute real 24 karat gold kind of colour. Look at that. It is literally like molten liquid gold. Um, right. Now, you might be wondering, what on earth is she going to do now? Those are a couple of silicon mats that I have folded up because you try to... <sighs> You need to have as solid a surface as possible when you're using these blocks. Well, with these little canvases, they've got a great big hole in the back where, you know, where you've got no frame. So I'm just trying to do my best, thinking, having to think very much off the cuff, off the cuff, on the spare of the moment. What on earth am I going to do to pad it out? I should have put some tape over the back to hold that in place, but I didn't. You know, I wanted to get the video done. I was desperate to use these blocks and there you go, fingers crossed, trying to um, get it sorted. So again, this is on a time lapse. It is a little bit too fast in all honesty, but I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. So as you can see in that bottom right hand corner, that block print is awful. <laughs> There isn't the detail that should be there. Um, the smaller ones are better, but not still when nowhere near really how they should be or as defined as they should be. Um, I did also do some little mandala dots there, um, used the gold, used the two colours that I do, had left over from my previous, uh, previous um, paint pour bit. And there you see there, it's just it's just not quite it's not quite working. But it will, it will look fabulous in the office at home. <laughs> so decided now, what am I going to do to just embellish this uh, painting a bit more? I'm going to use some of these fantastic PET stickers from Timu. We, are, we have so many different colours and variations of these. It was very difficult to make a decision. But I thought, do you know what? Let's go with these mauvey, violety, lilac sort of shades with a slightly darker edging it'll bring out the color of the of the uh, canvas itself its background and with those tiny little bits of mauvey lavender color paint so going for a bigger design i'm going to put it over what i'm going to refer to as the golden splodge in the bottom right hand corner of the painting of the canvas there we go with these stickers once you stick them down they are stuck they are stuck you can peel them back up again but I wouldn't recommend it. So decide where you want to put them, then smooth them all the way down and then move on to your next bit. So you won't have seen me. I didn't film uh, the other two being put on because I actually did an Instagram live. I thought, what the hell? Let's have a go. Uh, just had a couple of people watch me put those on and just explained what I was doing. So if you want to go over to our stories on Instagram or our reels, you should be able to find that one there. But it's just literally repeating the process that I did with the bigger butterfly in the corner. Now, you need to, in my opinion, it's still not quite done. It needs to be sealed. So we're going to seal it um, with some clear coat of resin over the top, but we need to put a border of this blue painter's tape all around the edge, secure it on, really press it on firmly so it creates a barrier with the side. It creates a sealed border. So I haven't got any footage of the resin being poured, but this is it a couple of days later. And as you can see, you've got a lovely glass-like uh, coating to the top of your canvas. Now, I've removed the blue tape and all around the edge, it's a little bit still, still a little bit too rough. Um, so what I'm doing is just going around the edge of it with an emery board, it's just a nail file. Um, if you don't wanna use that, you can use some very fine grade sandpaper. And I'm just trying to take the edge off of it. Now, if you feel happy using a deburring tool, you could use a deburring tool. All I'm literally trying to do is smooth out the edges so they're not quite so defined, if that makes sense. Um, you can, if you want to have resin down the sides, you don't need to apply the blue tape, you just need to elevate your canvas slightly off the surface, put a silicon mat underneath, and then um, pour the resin 
from the center of the canvas and so make and then smooth it out to the sides and the edges and let it drip down over the sides and then just make sure that it's all covered it's got an even coating around the sides as well and then let that cure do check your canvas and check your resin every half an hour or so just to make sure that you haven't got any little air bubbles pop up if you get those give it a quick spritz with some isopropyl alcohol or go back with the torch now if you're going to use a torch don't use isopropyl alcohol and if you use the torch make sure it's only providing heat and not a direct flame onto your canvas otherwise you will have a fire now I still wasn't quite happy with the edges I mean obviously you can put it in a floater frame if you want to or you can put it in a regular frame um, what I decided to do is I'd already done one of the sides I decided to put some of this lovely deco silver chrome or chrome silver pen on it and as I say to be honest yes there's lots of things I would do differently with future um, examples of this uh, particularly if we were going to put them up for sale or if they were custom uh, you know customer pieces um, yeah I wouldn't do this uh, for a customer this is purely for me and this is just because I wanted to see what it looked like and as I say it's going to go with a few other pictures that I have in our office here at home so there we go just making sure that you know you've got an even coverage of the um, silver pen and then what I don't show you is I do just go slightly over the top around all of the four edges which you'll see in the finishing shot which will be coming up very soon so I hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe as I say it's a little bit of a change from what we do normally um, it is still looking at the natural world and the botanical range the lovely butterflies but here's the finishing shot I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, as I said before don't forget to like share and subscribe we upload three times a week Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays at 5 p.m. UK time thanks again everyone Bye bye.